this is A and this is D. He is asking us to find out what is the resistance across A. So what type of circuit it is, how can you solve, which is series, which is parallel, little bit confusing. So there is one technique here. Uh, you should remember one thing that this is a symmetric circuit. What type of circuit it is? Symmetric. You know, if you draw a line in the middle, okay, it represents a symmetry. If you draw some line here in the middle, okay, it's going to represent symmetry or not? Symmetry means what is the meaning here? Whatever the line in the middle comes here, that should be disconnected. Whenever symmetry comes, what should you do here? These two lines you have to join and these two lines you have to join. These connections you have to, okay? Now you can solve easily. What is that you are going to solve here? You can convert this into one circuit. Where now this is converted like this. One is resistance R. These two taken as 2R. Again in the middle 2R. Again in the last. R. Okay. So 2R, R, R. See in the parallel connections, when the resistance are same, then the shortcut formula is R by N. Means what? When two resistors are same and parallel, then answer will be R by N. Means 2 are there, no? So R net is going to become R by N. Means here 2 R by N. N means how many are parallel? 2 are parallel. So 2. Resistance is R. So these two combination you will get resistance R. Then R, R, 3 are parallel. R, R, parallel. So according to the same formula, R parallel is going to become R by N, which is nothing but R by 3. Understood? R by 3. So your formula for this case is R across AB is taken as R by 3, no? R by 3. For example, you have given all the resistance at 10 ohms. When these type of circuits are given, when all the resistance are 10 ohms, so then your answer is going to be how much? By 3 ohms. If it is given as 30 ohms, then R across AB is directly taken as 30 by 3 which is taken as 10 ohms. Like this we have to solve, okay?